a Marine joins the astronaut candidate class. We see the joint light tactical vehicle, and a World War II veteran is brought home. This week on The Core Report. After more than 74 years, a Marine has been brought home. PFC Larry R. Roberts died by sniper fire in World War II on November 25, 1943. His remains were recovered from Bedio in the Tarwa Atoll. He was buried at Arlington National Cemetery last Wednesday, June 14th. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle is the Corps' newest vehicle. It drives faster, tows more, and provides advanced protection, and has a smaller footprint inside the decks of amphibious ships than the Humvee. By 2019, a third of the Humvees in the Corps will be replaced by the JLTV. The Joint Women's Leadership Symposium was held in Norfolk, Virginia on June 15th. The symposium develops service members' leadership and honors the actions of military women on the front lines. Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Glenn M. Walters, attended and said this at the symposium. We are all wearing the uniform because the country has entrusted us to win the battles we fight. A Marine Corps aviator is becoming an astronaut. Cobra pilot Major Jasmine Mobley is joining the NASA 2017 Astronaut Candidate Class on May 25, 2017. She'll report to the Johnson Space Center in Houston this August for two years of NASA training. I think I've always liked a challenge and the fact that NASA is a group that comes together. It's taken so much teamwork to achieve what they've done and being a part of that and furthering space exploration um, is really exciting to me. That's all for this week on The Core Report.